Where is that fucking helicopter? Man, this is just like last time. You're in the bathroom, I'm trying to kill- Ah, there's the helicopter! Did you find it? It found me. It's the Donnie of Dead Rising. What? Shunnel, Shunnel, laugh. Oh, chocolate helicopters. No. Not, not everything is chocolate helicopters, Zane. Could've fooled me! <laughs> Dash, I'm gonna eat cereal on Mike. Mike's here? Yeah. Is hungry. He feel like going and, food. and cereal is food. Oh man, but the, it's probably not gonna do that really weird thing where like the game freaked out last time I blew up the helicopter. Mike's picking this up. Good. See if I care, I don't. We both know that. Do I? We both know I don't care. Ow. Because if you want professionalism, you came to the wrong Let's Play channel. <laughs> Go to the other ones. It's okay, we're about to improve our mic audio because we care. Once she was certain which way was south, she counted off her paces. The stream appeared at eight. Danny cupped her hands to drink. The water made her belly cramp, but cramps were easier to bear than thirst. She had no other drink but the morning dew that glistened on the tall grass, and no food at all unless she dared to eat the grass. I could try eating ants. The little yellow ones were too small to provide much in the way of nourishment, but there were red ants in the grass, and those were bigger. I am lost at sea, she said as she limped along, besides her meandering rivulet. So perhaps I'll find some crabs or a nice fat fish. Her, whips, her whip slapped softly against her thigh. Whap, whap, whap. One step at a time, and the stream would see her home. Just past me. And they really give you, like, no feedback that you even can shoot down the helicopter. I know it's shooting missiles at me, I know. You only have the one creamer. That. Dash, that hurt was too a close. Lot. That really. I didn't think that would hurt me that much. There's nothing in there. Check the trash cans. There might be snacks. snacks. Yeah. But that is also only going to heal one. I know. It's still snacks. Um, I know there's... There's like a snack and some cookies over by those benches. Near the... Bench snacks. Like right over there. Shit, now I'm you. God, Zane, why did you curse me? <laughs> Dash, if you start shooting missiles at you again, you I move. will. Yeah, I'm going to dodge next time. I can see it. I don't like that. Yep. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's horseshit, and you know it. Just go get more food. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving. I know when I'm beat. And save. Yeah, that's also probably smart. Midday, she came upon a bush growing by the stream, its twisted limbs covered with hard green berries. Danny squinted at them suspiciously, then plucked one from a branch and nibbled it. Its flesh was tart and chewy, with a bitter aftertaste that seemed familiar to her. In the Kalisar, they used berries like these to flavor roasts, she decided. Saying it aloud made her more certain of it. Her belly rumbled and Danny found herself picking berries with both hands and tossing them into her mouth. An hour later, her stomach began to cramp so badly that she could not go on. She spent the rest of that day retching up green slime. If I stay here, I will die. I may be dying now. Would the horse god of the Dothraki part the grass and claim her for his starry kalasar? Oh, so I, sh I showed uh, Jeremy and Jason and them the Let's Play channel. Yeah. Oh. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, so you're Shorty and Badger, but then in like the first episode, <laughs> you guys just call each other by each other's names. Yeah, so, and? Yeah. And? I don't know, Jeremy, how about you go make your own fucking Let's Play channel? Maybe I will. Yeah, hope not. <laughs> 
You don't need more competition. Or maybe Zane will be on it too. No. <laughs> Double dipping. <laughs> Double dipper. Double cheeks. And then watch. That one will be the runaway hit. And then... I would consider suicide. <laughs> <laughs> For at least a few minutes. <laughs> Like, I'd look at the gun and just kind of think to myself, like, man... No, because then I'll plug this one, and then it'll be fine. And then this will, no, be, the less mo this will be the less successful, but moderately successful. No, it won't. <laughs> nah. So she might ride the Nightlands with Cal Drogo? In Westeros, the dead of House Targaryen were given to the flames. But who would light her pyre here? My flesh will feed the wolves and carrion crows, she thought sadly and worms will burrow through my womb. Her eyes went back to Dragonstone. It looked smaller. She could see smoke rising from its wind-carved summit, miles away. Drogon has returned from hunting. Sunset found her squatting in the grass, groaning. Every stool was looser than the one before, and smelled fouler. By the time the moon came up, she was shitting brown water. The more she drank, the more she shat. But the more she shat, the thirstier she grew and her thirst sent her crawling to the stream to suck up more water. When she closed her eyes at last, Danny did not know whether she would be strong enough to open them again. She dreamt of her dead brother. Viserys looked just as he had the last time she'd seen him. His mouth was twisted in anguish, his hair was burnt, and his face was black and smoking, where the, two molten, where the molten gold had run across his brow and cheeks and into his eyes. You are dead, Danny said. Murdered. Those, though his lips were moved, somehow she could. Though his lips never moved, somehow she could hear his voice whispering in her ear, "You never mourned for me, sister. It is hard to die unmourned. I loved you once. Once he said so bitterly it made her shudder. You were supposed to be my wife, to bear me children with silver hair and purple eyes, to keep the blood of the dragon pure. I took care of you. I taught you who you were. I fed you. I sold our mother's crown to keep you fed." You hurt me. You frightened me. Only when you woke the dragon. I loved you. You sold me. Betrayed me. No, you were the betrayer. You turned against me. Against your own blood. They cheated me. Your horsey husband and his stinking savages. They were cheats and liars. They promised me a golden crown and gave me this. He touched the molten gold that was creeping down his face and smoke rose from his fingers. You could have had your crown, Danny told him. My sun and stars would have won it for you if only you had waited. I waited long enough. I waited my whole life. I was their king, their rightful king. They laughed at me. You should have stayed in Pentos with Magister Illyrio. Cal Drogo had to present me to the Dosh Kalin, but you did not have to ride with us. That was your choice, your mistake. Do you want to wake the dragon, you stupid little whore? Drogo's Kalazar was mine. I bought them from him, a hundred thousand screws. You know who I forgot existed until he started posting on Snapchat again? Zach Brockman? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? You have him on Snapchat? Yeah, he added me a long time ago, and I just... Kind of great. He... Like, he, we never snapped each other, but he posts on snap his him, story. Snap him dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick or someone else's, I'm not too... <laughs> but, uh, I completely forgot about him. And then he started posting Snapchat stories again. I was like, What's oh, he up yeah. To? Can you discern what he's up to? Not really. I can't tell if he's, like, an IT guy or what. Because he... Because sometimes he's in a food truck, food truck, which with I think is his mom. And other times he's, like in a computer chair in like an office or something with some other dude and it's i i don't know what's going on with him because <laughs> i never hated the guy but N none of us really like hated him you just like you uh, there's the one person in the group that everyone just shits on yeah to like maintain group dynamic and he was that for our entire art just everyone just ripped on him and it, it's what allowed us to get along better with each other and we thanked him at the end of the year for his service. <laughs> and we did like the, yeah, everyone's giving thanks to each other. Like, we spent like a minute just like, thank you, Brockman, for letting us just fucking shit on you every day. And you just taking it like a champ. <laughs> I didn't already get this achievement, did I? But it was also, I never cared enough to, you know, follow up with him on stuff. He's not 
They break at least 100 items. He's not like the most interesting dude. He was fun to play Halo with sometimes. Streamers, I paid for them with your maiden head. You never understood. Dothraki do not buy and sell. They give gifts and receive them. If you had waited, I did wait for my crown, for my throne, for you. All those years and all I ever got was a pot of molten gold. Why did they give the dragon eggs to you? They should have been mine. If I'd had the dragon, I would have taught the world the meaning of our words. Viserys began to laugh until his jaw fell away from his face, smoking, and blood and molten gold ran from his mouth. I've done this. Break that trash can. Yeah. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> when she woke, gasping, her thighs were slick with blood. For a moment, she did not realize what it was. The world had just begun to lighten, and the tall grass rustled softly in the wind. No, please, let me sleep some more. I'm so tired. I really do hate what he is. They're all garbage. Yeah, I mean, fan-maintained things. It's all garbage, and they all have really shitty ads on them that, like, pop up halfway through. Yeah, they usually run like shit. Well, any other, like, achievements I can get real fast? She tried to burrow back beneath the pile of grass she had torn up when she went to sleep. Some of the stalks felt wet. Had it rained again? She sat up. Well, a do right you now. want to dick around at all? Because I've got, I'm pretty much got my dick in. Not a whole lot. Okay. Well, I don't know. go to, ah! Yeah, the helicopter's still here, Dash. Well, I guess I'll just go and just be at Isabella. I guess. That'll work. Okay. And I'm gonna go take a shit again. <sighs> Poopy old Dash over here. Yeah, it's it's that day. It's the day where all the me like the medicine is worn off. Yeah, that's not healthy. Yeah, but I don't have like a much of a choice. Like I guess that's the thing. I mean, other than just generally improve my health. Yeah, you should probably do that. I mean, I've gotten it's gotten a lot better since I stopped drinking soda, but. It's just like, since I'm alone at work for most of the time, I just... Like, at a certain point, you can only take so many bathroom breaks and leave the store alone. I don't know, that never stopped you at GameStop. <laughs> and again, but you it's could like, also lock the door they're at GameStop. Not, they're not, like, it's, yeah, that's another thing, is I can lock the door, but it's not like they're going to go and tell me, like, hey, you can't go to the bathroom anymore, but I kind of feel shitty doing it. I also don't want people to take things from the store. Eh... Nah. It's just Subway. At most, they'll just... What? Take chips? Chips, soda... But I guess, like, the thing is... So here's the thing. So someone takes something, a bag of chips, whatever it is, like... That's... Like, a singular bag of chips is not a problem. But I'm the one who has to do the inventories now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, if we're gone... If we, like, over the course of the week are missing 14 bags of chips, I have to go and recount all the chips looking for these fucking chips. And then I'll have to recount them again the next day because, you know, the district manager's like, hey, you know, go and keep recounting this stuff until you find it. Until I eventually just have to say, look, they were stolen. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if soda is under or anything like that. These things are, like, too much off. I have to go and do a lot more work. Huh. Sucks to suck. But, uh, day two come, rolls Judd, around. He starts Judd a lot turd is, is, in fact, more like it. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. What are we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, Evo. Yeah. Evo is happening this weekend. No, um... Judd Apatow is... Gio Brando's gonna win it all. Yeah. Carmen Sandiego is going to redeem herself after losing to Lupe Fiasco. In, in, the, in the Lupe Fiasco, as it is known. <laughs> in the FGC, which I'm a part of. I don't know if you knew that. The fighting game Keep community. it pretty low. Yeah, you know, we call it the FGC in the FGC. Oh. Keep it pretty low-key. Oh. So yeah, we just uh, we just kind of we just I took a shit and we said fuck it and we just ran the clock down because neither of us wanted to like fuck around. Yeah, it's like I I, I thought it would be boring to watch. Kind of so. did all my fucking around. Guilty gear. We just kind of sat here for like twenty minutes. I'll be playing Injustice at Evo, Melee, Smash Four, Tekken Seven. They always play Melee. Ultimate Marvel, baby. Street Fighter Five. For some reason, I thought Windjammers was gonna be there. That's kind of a bummer. 
I wish when jammers was gonna be there. When jammers is cool. When jammers is fart. That's Fuck you. Little, We're gonna play when jammers on here at some point when it fart. comes out on PS4. Little kitty fart. You can't stop it. <sighs> Zane's a sleepy baby. Ugh, that's true. Morlax came and sat on my chest, and now I'm even sat sleepier. Sit on my face. <laughs> Sit on my face, Morlax. No, please don't. <laughs> I don't want cat butt in my yep, face. Yep, they're dead. Unless it's cat's butt, which is on the move. Man, that is <laughs> evergreen. It will never, ever go out of style. <laughs> Game came out five years ago. That was that wasn't 2012. Pretty was sure it? it was 2012 no. or 2011. No. Halo Reach. Yeah. Yeah. I like. Okay, here, Google. Stop doing. Text okay, Google. Todd, stop it. Google, why don't you answer me? Maybe it was uh maybe it was okay, 2011, Google. actually. No, 2010! When did Halo Reach come out? September of 2010. Fucking... Halo Reach's initial release date is September 14th, 2010. Dash, we found it out. <laughs> oh thank, yeah, I gotta talk to her. Thank you, fake Siri. <laughs> ah shit, where am I? Why did it put me all the way back here? Mm. I feel like she, we said that last time. <laughs> she's goo geary. <laughs> okay. See ya, Isabella. Wait, that's it? Yeah, that's all you had to do. You sure there's nothing else? That was all you had to do. She keeps repeating that line. Okay. So now we gotta go to the helipad? Yeah. And then wait around more! <laughs> gotta wait around even more. But all them Zambos are gone. The Zambos, the Zambos, the big flim flambos. How do more zombies show up for us to get the queens, then? They'll be around. Because the military comes back? And revives all the zombies. Boop. And then we'll have to wait, like, another five minutes. Yeah. By the time we get there. <sighs> Those animals, they did it! They're all dead! <laughs> You blow it up! You blow it all up. I want to see the new Planet of the Apes movie. I don't remember. There was only two before this one, right? If you're counting the reboot, one's correct. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, just I, 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 I figured I you did. I just want to yeah, make sure. Because I know there were the original Planet of the Ape movies. All four I was of them not or five those. of them. There's so fucking many. They're pretty much all terrible as well. I need to watch those, though. You, oh, man. Or at least the They're first one. They're fucking bad. I don't think I've seen all of them, but... But the first one's a classic. I feel like I should watch it. It's like a sci-fi classic. It's one of those I things guess, where... But I legitimately... You should at least watch it. It's I like, like those uh, new ones. New ones are fun. It's like, shit, what is Soylent... What's the movie Soylent Green's from? Is it just Soylent Green? <sighs> is it? I don't remember. You're right? Wait. Okay, Google. Soylent <laughs> Green. <laughs> Yeah, it's just okay. the movie. I watched it movie. once in um, Mr. Flutie's class. Because I, I watched it a couple of years ago. I thought it was kind of cool. It's like, it would probably be better if I didn't know the that, twist. That's Soylent Green! It's people! It's people! So, wow, spoilers. Ryan's going to get mad. <laughs> that movie's been out for like 40 goddamn years. Yeah, trust me, he will still get mad. For the, he will get so mad that you spoil media he is not going to consume. <laughs> reminder, we still cannot talk about Phantom Pain in front of him. Just a reminder. He's never going to play it. I know, but he's still like, no guys, no. Ryan, you're not going to play it? So, here's the spoiler. Big Boss is actually... Uh, and I'm Brendan just gonna, I'm just going to throw bleeps in there. And then he'll be like, ooh. But no, he won't like, even He won't know. watch Breaking Bad. He won't watch fucking Game of Thrones and you can't talk about any of these things when you're around him. Or else Ooh. he goes... Ree! Look at the glow on the helmet. I know, it's tech demo -y. <laughs> Can't talk about shit with him. It's so frustrating. Ryan, just either watch it or let us talk about it. Because, like, he's not... He's making no... If he was making attempts to watch it, that would be different. But he's not. Here, save. Oh, yeah. Why not? Well, I mean... Just why not? No. No, just come... Why... No. Because it's not like, you know, he is going and trying to watch Breaking Bad or trying to watch any of these things. He's fucking around doing other things. <clears throat> like school. Not even that. Like YouTube. <laughs> Just YouTube. 
and board games and puzzles. We, oh, we need to play Catan. I, I want to play Catan, Catan with you guys. Never played it. It's, I know it's like kind of like the quintessential. Uh, it, it's pretty fun. I I enjoyed it. I'm just I don't think I'm a huge board game fan. So you got to get into the weird shit. That's what no. See, at. I think that's the opposite of what I want, though. No, because all the, I mean, risk is a little more. You know, see, I like it's risk. It's not a weird shit, but I it's like one of the risk. more complex things. I like risk. See, there's a fine line between complex but in, and enjoyable, and then stupidly complex, and it's just why are we even doing? Like, I feel like Arkham Horror is pretty. Like, I feel like I've heard Ryan talk about that, and it's very complex. Um, like I like Munchkin. I'm big I've, on Munchkin. I've never played Munchkin. It's it's fun. It's quick. It's fun. I like Munchkin, a lot. Uh, there's this game I play with Jeremy and them sometimes. It's called Boss Monster. Um, it's not so much a board game, but it's like a card game that you play as a board game, sort yeah. of. Um, it's like you are a boss monster, and you have to build a dungeon. That will kill a hero that tries to come in and get it. Okay. So then it, it, it gives you a bunch of different like cards and stuff like that. And um, they'll do different damages and like have different abilities. And they'll have like little symbols. Like if, you, if one dungeon has more treasure in it, then the thieves will be attracted to that one. And you have to like build your dungeon so it'll attract heroes but also be able to kill them. More than, you know, your opponents or whatever. And you can play cards to fuck over your the other people. It's pretty fun. I think there's a Steam version of it on. I think Jackbox has just kind of solved my... like. That is, I would just rather do Jackbox than a board game. See, and they we... put out new Jackboxes with such frequency that... That, you know, <sighs> it's like I feel like I'm getting a pretty good influx... Because Trivia Murder I mean, Party is fun. Mind you, like that we one. don't even all hang out that much. Yeah, but which we should. We need to hang out more. I wanted to do more this summer, but I just I feel like no one's ever free at the same time. I feel like we've also haven't really tried. I mean, also, we hang out every Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, we do shit. I mean, today's a Thursday, but this is a special, this is an emergency session. Yeah. But it's like I like I am trying to get Ryan to hang out and do stuff, but it's like recording Shovel Knight with him is much more difficult than I anticipated it would be. And he lives. It's like in we are neighbors. Basically, yeah, the sh- same house. We shockingly do not have that much free time, as it turns out, or overlapping free time anyway. Nah, see, so both just need to quit your jobs, and then quit school, and then we can just all be neat hangout bros. Like, Except for me, because I'm not going to do any of that. Like I'm, I like I, I I like having money. Yeah, so do I. I buy a lot of type can buy Dead Risings with it. But I like I honestly I'm most concerned like on Gauntlet about Ryan's availability. God, how much longer? Soon. Oh, we'll figure stuff out. Yeah. But no, I'd like to. Because I want to do more movie nights and. I would like yeah I'd like to do that but it's just like since Jason like if Jason ends up moving up here then you know that'll be easier. That'll be easier for him to do stuff. But also it's like last week I was having to open a bunch so I wouldn't want to do really much of anything after. It's like since I am off work at, you know like ten o'clock or whatever I can just fucking come over here and hang out and since I'm usually not opening the next day I got no problem staying up late. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I've been an old man recently. I've been going to bed early, like midnight. Yeah, I've kind of been that way for about a year now. Like, I don't, like, very seldomly am I staying up, like, super duper late. I was kind of staying up late for uh, SGDQ, but that's just because some of the stuff that was I wanted to see was up late, so I tried to catch that. My problem is, like, I so often have to wake up early with Melissa to move my car to let her out to go open the store. So it's like I'm having to get up, you know, like 7 o'clock in the morning on some days anyway. And then by the time I, like, get out and move the car and all that shit, I'm woken up. Mm. So I can't really get back to sleep. But I just don't stay up that late anymore. I don't... Likewise, I don't sleep in until fucking 2 in the afternoon. But, like, I'm, I'm pretty much just, like, asleep by 1 or 2, 1 or 2 every day, if not midnight. 
and then up at about 10. Ugh. I mean, give or take a little hour on either end. I usually have to stay up until at least midnight because that's when deals roll over. Yeah. Man, I'm glad I don't sleep until like 2 in the afternoon anymore. I just can't. Like, like I, I got shit to do. See, I don't, but that's still, uh, that still felt really shitty. Going to sleep at like 5 in the morning, waking up at like 2 in the afternoon. Yeah. It was a vicious cycle, and I had nothing to do, and I was in neat. No one's awake. Yeah. I just, I just can't do that anymore. Yeah, once Hunter gets his car, Jason moves back up here. I imagine we'll be able to get some shit done. Yeah. Because really, the only thing... Because I don't want to get Hunter. You don't want to get Hunter. I mean, I I would be willing to get Hunter. My thing is, like, this is the only thing I can hold against him. Like, <laughs> I have... This is the only piece of power I can use. See, I just don't want to get him. Like, when we went driving the other day, and we came back here to hang out for a bit, I was just like... Oh. Like, fuck, I have to take you I don't home. Want to, I certainly don't want to do it, but it's like, hey, I don't really mind it that much. I just don't, like, I have nothing else I can hold at him. See, if if I were going somewhere else, like, if I still lived over there, uh, that'd be fine. Yeah, sure, because we both live in the same spot, same place anyway. But it's like, ugh, this is where I live now. This is my house. I don't, I don't want to leave i'm already home since i used to work down there also i mean it was like that was a little more convenient but it's like he is okay, just there we go. He, no one is close to him anymore yeah except matt and matt's only recently come back into our lives 